Hello! Uh, I've been a bit jealous of Mac users having the open command. They are able to type in open dot and it will open their file manager for them and show them uh, their contents of their directory. You can't do that in Ubuntu because open means something else in Ubuntu. Nor can you make an alias to open because you don't want to overwrite the functionality of this program. So I've created something called zopen, which is an alias, and it does the same thing for Mac, uh, for Ubuntu that you can get from Mac. So for example, if I do a zopen of a file name, it will open it up in an editor which is the functionality that you'll get in Mac OS. Uh, more or less the same functionality. And uh, you, the default file manager for Ubuntu is called Nautilus. Now, if you type Nautilus bash under hist.txt, you will get the directory contents. You will not get the file opening up in an editor. And you'll also get all these error messages and it'll take a long time for Nautilus to actually shut down. It's a very slow program. Uh, so I've installed something called uh, Thunar. If you do sudo apt install or apt get install Thunar, I'm not going to do it here, it's already installed. You can get Thunar, which is, I believe, the default file manager for KDE, not for GNOME. Uh, this is the GNOME desktop on Ubuntu 18.04, but it works fine and it's fast, and it also gives the correct functionality. It, if you do Thunar dot, it'll give you the directory contents. If you do Thunar some file, it will open the file in a text editor. This is exactly what I wanted. And I'm running uh, ZSH as my shell. You're probably running Bash as your shell. The majority of people run Bash. It's the standard shell that comes with Ubuntu 18.4. So unless you change it, that's the shell you're running. And uh, if I open in Vim my .zshrc file, I can add this alias down here at the, you see it's down here at the bottom here, alias zopen equals uh, open quotes, thunar close, close quotes. And if I now go back and source my .zshrc file, I will have that alias. I'll have the alias. So, obviously if you're running bash, you would add the alias to your .bashrc file, not to your .zshrc file. It'll be in your home directory. And then you'll have the same functionality that Mac users have without the expense of their crummy hardware, overpriced crummy hardware, uh, and their difficult to configure uh, interface. I don't like the look of Mac. I have trouble seeing, uh, reading the screens, etc. Uh, because I can't get it, I can't get it to look like this, which is what I want. So save some money. If you have some intelligence, you can do things like this and get it to work exactly the way you want. If you're not too terribly bright, go ahead, buy a Mac, run Mac OS. They do a lot for you. Uh, anyway, I hope this is helpful and you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and goodbye.